This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, and welcome to a very special video. So, what's so special about it? Well, it's special because you guys rock. And you guys rock because 40,000 of you subscribed to my channel, MH Tutorials. And I'm really thrilled about that. Uh, I've been doing uh, videos on YouTube since uh, 2014, so a couple of years now. I posted well over 600 videos and 5 million views so far, okay? So really psyched about that, thank you. Now, as a thank you, I'm gonna put up a prize. If you wanna know what that prize is, you will have to look through this entire video because somewhere during this video, I'm gonna announce what the prize is and um, I can assure you it's very cool. If you are a 3D artist, you're gonna love it, okay? Now, this prize will be given away only and only if this video hits 10,000 views in one week exactly, okay? So starting from the moment that it's posted, it has to hit 10,000 uh, views. And if it does, what I will do is I will pick one comment person under this video. So that's the only way you can participate. I'll pick one person in the comment section and that person will win that prize, okay? And uh, just to show you guys how much I appreciate you, okay? So let's uh, jump into today's video. Uh, what we're gonna do today is we are going to create a, a, a groined vault. I didn't come up with that name, it's just what it's called. It's a, kind of a ceiling with a cross in it and you'll see that in churches and cathedrals, okay? So uh, let's check it out, here we go. Alrighty guys, a groined vault. Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but it is what it is, okay? So let's get started. We're gonna start with a polygon cylinder, and this should be about 20 subdivisions, but I'll check. I'll hit Control A and go to my poly cylinder. Yeah, it's a 20. So let's do 10 in height. That would be about right. Let's see, yeah, looks okay. And then we're gonna jump into our top view. We're gonna right click on our face. We're gonna drag select the entire bottom part. And then we're gonna go in and drag select these faces as well. So we just have that arch left, okay? Then we're gonna right click on our vertex. We're gonna drag select that vertex in the middle. And I'm gonna hold down B to get soft select. And if I hold it down and left click and drag, I can increase or decrease the impacted area, okay? I'm gonna go with something like this. And then I'm gonna hit W and I'm gonna to start to push that top vertex up a little bit. Hold down B and decrease the impacted area and do that a little bit more, okay? So that's what we have so far. I'm gonna hit a B on my keyboard to turn off the soft select. I'm gonna right click at object mode, hit E to rotate it and hold down J as I do so to snap it to 15 degrees sections, okay? So now that we have that, uh, I don't want it to be that low poly. So what I'm gonna do is go to, uh, let's see, uh, insert edge loop. And I'll add one there, and I'll add one there. One down here. And one down here. Okay, hit Q on your keyboard. And we're gonna right click at object mode, and we're gonna go to edit mesh. Uh, sorry, mesh and smooth. Just makes it look a little bit better, okay? So now that I have that, I'm gonna hit R to scale it out a little bit. So we get some length to it, like so. And then I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate it again, E to rotate it, and hold down J as I do so until we get a 90 degrees situation like this. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna select them both, go to edit, delete by type, history, and modify and freeze transformations, okay? Then I'm gonna select this guy, shift select this guy, and go up to mesh, boolean, and union, okay? And that will give us this guy, all right? So far, so good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some thickness. So select this entirely. Hit Control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.05. I think that's about right. Yeah, looks fine. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this to size. So we're gonna go up to the top here. 
we're gonna right click. Okay guys, so what's the deal with that prize? Well, if this video hits 10,000 views in exactly one week, what it will give away is a one year subscription to this magazine right here. 3D artist. It's my absolute favorite magazine. I had it for years. It's really cool. It contains all the things you want to know about the trade and you know, ZBrush, Maya, 3ds Max, whatever you're working on. This is not sponsored. I'm paying this out of my own pocket. It's worth well over 150 bucks. So uh, if you are the lucky one, this is what you're going to get. Okay. Good luck. And we're going to drag select these. Actually, let's leave one on so we'll do this we'll do this we'll do this and we'll do this and hit delete and that's what we have left if i did a clean cut it looks like i did all right so we're going to right click at object mode we're going to flip this around and down here you see we have these uh, faces here First, let's close up these holes. Let's go to edge, select that, and shift, select that one as well. Shift, select that one as well. And shift, select that one as well. And go to mesh. Where is that thing? Uh, I thought it was on the mesh. Yeah, fill hole. Okay, cool. So that seems okay. Then we're going to go in, right click, go to face. And we're going to select these faces here as well, here as well, and there as well. And we're going to hit Control E to extrude, hit W to push down. So we get our initial legs, if you want to call it that. But let's do something like this. Okay. I'm going to right click the object mode. I'm going to make sure it's a clean mesh. So we're going to go to mesh and clean up. Uh, okay, let's see. Faces with more than four sides to get rid of end guns and we're going to hit clean up. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to copy a couple of these guys over. So I'm going to select this as an object, jump to my top view, and I want to move the pivot point up here. Okay. So I'm going to hit the insert key. Hold down V as I move it to the top right there. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate it. And as I move it down, I'll just hit the injured key so that's gone again. As I move it down, I'll hold a V so it snaps. Okay, and you can see it does. And then I'll hit Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D to copy that over a couple of times. All right. Then we're going to select this whole thing, do Control D again. This time I didn't move the pivot point, so we're just going to have to eyeball it. So I'll hit 4 for wireframe mode. Let's get in there and try to give it a clean fit, like so. Hit uh, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. And that will basically give us this situation right here. Okay. Uh, it's kind of cool if you look at it from the top because you got those little holes where uh, sun can come in and so forth. But that's basically all there is to it. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And uh, like I said in the intro, please check out the Business to Artist collaboration platform on LinkedIn. It's a good way if you are a, an artist and you're posting online to get support from companies and so forth. Okay, so uh, that said, see you guys here or see you guys there. Okay, bye.